This video is about the basic concept of absolute maximum and absolute minimum. They have another name, which is global maximum and global minimum. So when we talk about absolute max and absolute min, we have to look at a closed interval. So for, since we are talking about closed interval, that's why I put a square bracket to wrap a and B. So what is absolute maximum? Absolute maximum is you look at a graph, you are looking for the largest y value. Absolute minimum, you look at a graph, you are looking for the smallest y value. And other than that, you also have to consider the endpoints A and B because sometimes A or B, they can be the largest y or the smallest y. So we have a couple graphs right here. So he, the first graph, we have a closed interval, so that's why I am using two solid points, one on the left, one on the right. I am not using arrows anymore. So you have to tell me where are the absolute max and absolute min. So let's change color for that. So where is the absolute min? Absolute minimum is the lowest y value, which is right here, right? So this is the absolute minimum. So this point is the, I'm going to call this a dot min, absolute minimum. And uh, highest y is right here so that is the absolute maximum what about this point and this point this point is still a maximum but this this point is only a local maximum it's a maximum but it's not the largest y this we call this a local minimum is a minimum but it's not the smallest y all right moving on to the graph on the right where are the max? So we have a max right here. This is the highest y, so that is absolute max. And then this one is also a maximum because at this point, they have the same y value, right? So they are both absolute max. So since this point has a slope going up first and then horizontal tangent and then going down, you can also call that local max. Absolute, both absolute max and local max. So this will be an absolute min. And then this point is also absolute min and also local min. All right, moving on to the third graph, where are the maximum? So the maximum is the absolute maximum, absolutely the highest y, which is this point. So that is the largest y in the closed interval, right? From this point to this point, but this is an open circle. That, that's fine. So this is absolute max and also local max. Where is the absolute minimum is this a is this a minimum you might say yes uh, that is the lowest y but that is not a solid circle what does that mean that means x when x equals to this value when let's say when x equals to b the function is undefined so this is not a solid point at all so although that looks like an absolute minimum but it is not so this is not a absolute minimum all right, and then the last one, the last one we have this point. This point looks like the highest y. Is this an absolute max? No, nope, that is not an absolute max because this is an open circle. Do we have any minimum? Yep. I, I know this point and that point, they looks like they are both have the highest y, but I am what I'm trying to do is this point, I place this point at the highest y. So this point, you can only call that a local maximum. And then what about here? This will be the local minimum. And then what else? What, what, what about this? This is the lowest y. So this, we call this absolute minimum. But f prime, so let's say this is x equals to c, f prime equals to c is undefined. So that means the function is not differentiable at that point. And then that's it. So that will be all in this video. I will see you all in the next one.